So what do you do in AutoCAD when you get this window and you realize that your reference or your attachment is missing? My name is Jay and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's get into it. So two things you can do here, you can choose the first option or the third option. The second option, I haven't dealt with it and I don't think it has to do with the Mac and Windriver. Never used that, but if you did, um, good for you. But the third option also right here at the bottom where it says always ignore unresolved references. You don't want that checked. I like to get this warning every time there's a problem with the external reference. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and for now say ignore unresolved reference file. And this will open my drawing here. And essentially the file that has a problem is the logo. I placed this logo earlier here uh, into my drawing. And now all I'm seeing is it empty and it's just showing me like the path of where is this like supposed to be, but it's not finding it. So this problem can happen for several reasons. Um, and I will mention like the top three essentially. Uh, the first one is if you rename the file or the attachment that you had previously. The second one is if you move it, like let's say you took it out and you changed essentially the address of it on your computer. And the third reason, which also happened, is if you delete that reference. So AutoCAD, when you're doing attachments, it's not actually saving your attachment within AutoCAD. It's basically referencing, it's basically looking on your computer going to the address that you gave it for that file and then it's just reading it it doesn't like save it or load it within your autocad file now this problem happens specifically with pictures and pdf files for autocad drawings you do have the ability to completely insert the drawing within your project but for pdfs and pictures you can't you will have to always attach them now it's important for you to know what really happened and if ultimately you didn't know what happened and your file is just sitting there on your desktop or in your folder essentially, all you gotta do is go to the reference manager and relink it. To do that, all you need to do is head to the reference manager in AutoCAD. Now this is usually found right beside the layers right here. So it's this one in the middle. In case you don't see it, you most likely need to just either type attach and that will load it usually and open it here, uh, or you can go from the window and then from here, select reference manager. Okay. So once you open that, you're going to see here that the picture here, I have images attached and then the one that's called JCAD logo and it's showing me a warning or saying missing reference. So to fix it, I will right click on it and then I will click on select new path to assign it a new address. Now, originally I simulated this situation by actually changing the file name. So I switch it from JCAD logo, I think I named it rename. So now when I select it and I click open, this will now load it properly. So like I mentioned, again, just to, a quick recap, make sure you know the name, like don't change the name of something you're attaching to your AutoCAD file. Don't move it, don't delete it. And also, I guess one last thing, and maybe it doesn't apply here is if you switch the format of the picture, that also might cause a problem. So let's say it was a JPEG and you made it a PNG, most likely your link will also be missing. If this helped you today, please like and subscribe. And if not, and you have questions, please leave them in the comments and let me know. I really would like to know how can I do my videos always better. Thank you for watching.